Hey everyone, in this training video, I'm gonna show you how to operate a combine. Check this out. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be operating a Lexion 730 combine. As I state with all my videos, I am not an expert. Uh, we do a lot of our videos on construction equipment, but we have some experience outside of that. Uh, I really wanna thank Adam and Ron Gergen. This is Gergen Farms here in Minnesota. They've been great partners of ours, and they've really, I've been out here a few times with them. So I'm gonna kinda show you how to operate this machine. Uh, the first things first, uh, we've already done all of our, just like construction, I'm used to doing site checks before. I've already been briefed with those guys, and they've already done the pre-equipment checks on this combine and everything. So we're gonna go straight to it, get in. I'm just gonna show the very basic entry-level controls, and we're gonna go harvest some corn. Check this out. Okay, to get started here, just like construction equipment, it's some of those little things that I like to bring up, three points of contact. You know, these combines are big, a lot of accents on farms and in construction sites, it's just from getting on and off equipment. So three points of contact, and then we're gonna get up and in the cab. Okay, first thing, three points contact getting in. And then we talked about that seatbelt getting in. Now again, uh, first of all, I wanna thank uh, Adam and Ron Gergen. This is Gergen Farms. They've been a great partner of ours. I've uh, been out here a few times. I'm gonna go over again. I'm not a farmer nor an expert, but I've uh, been out a few times this machine and I'm gonna show you kind of the basics on this. Uh, when I get in, the first thing, parking brake, making sure that's on. The machine won't move at all, even if I were to try and put it uh, in gear. Uh, but you want to make sure it's always in park. And then outside of that, throttle is usually over here on the right. Uh, it's at idle. The key to start these is behind it. This machine's been running already, and usually they keep idling, especially where we're in uh, Minnesota in the winter here. So uh, they've had this thing idling up. So after that, coming in front of me, the, there's two really pedals here. On the right is my brake controls. Each one for the, they're separate if you can see them at all, one for the run, right, one for the left. Typically though, you don't need it uh, when you're just out there harvesting because if putting this thing back to neutral uh, will usually stop it on its own. But if you were to need it, obviously you're gonna wanna be able to reach those. And then the steering column, push that, bring that into me. On here, they're, you know, nowadays they're automatic, I'd say last five or 10 years. So there's not a ton when we get out there, but just showing you some of the controls. Usually there's two different um, controls to turn on. One is the thrasher, or I kind of call it the plant. That's what's processing all the corn. Today we're doing corn. And then the second one is the head. So there's these two over here. You can't run the head without running the thrasher there. So here, if I do that, um, if I pull up, it'll take a second here and then I'll hear that start up. And I have it running now. And then the second is I can start the head by pulling up on this and it'll start here in a second. Now I've got both of them running. Now with that, uh, after that, my joystick, that's when everything's gonna work on this. As far as I can drive without these running, but as far as up, up and down in the head, I can't do it. Now we're gonna have auto controls on here. There's a thumb pad, it kind of is up and down. I can do it manually like that, but almost always they're gonna have a, an automatic set in here and the settings will be on the screen. So when you get around, I'm just gonna push it down and it'll come down to the setting it needs to be at that was set. And then at the end of that, I'm just gonna bring it up and it'll bring it to a preset condition. So it's usually just on these top two here. The other controls here uh, really are, I got my auto drive. So when I get in there, we'll show you that. And then my auger to, I'm sorry, the, the, uh, the dump to basically extend that to be able to dump the corn when I'm running. If I push out on this, it will go out. And this is where looking out my mirror to see it. It is important when we get out there, always extend this. We usually around 70, 75% fill. We'll go ahead and extend it. We want to extend that before the tractor comes next to you because this thing actually extends, it's a little bit lower than the top of our cart. Uh, so you want to make sure it's extended ahead of time. Then I can see it and that's extended. So if I wanted to start this, this yellow button, I'm not going to start it now, even though I am empty, I, there's going to be a little bit in there. Uh, that'll actually start the auger to go out the chute. Uh, and then to retract it after they're done again, once the tractor's pulled away, I just hold that and that's gonna come back in. And we're good there. So that's it, and then if I wanted to stop, I can do it either way. There's a stop button here. If I just hit that, 
that'll stop both of those. It'll stop my head. I'm sorry, it'll stop my head. Now with all that, we're gonna go ahead and drive out. First thing, I'm gonna take the parking brake off. There's a display. If I want to go through the menu here and I hit any of these, there's an escape button. Usually it'll be a way to take, you know, it's always gonna give you indicators if you need to check on something. So that's your main display there and hit escape. I can go through the menu. I am not gonna go through the menu today. Obviously, depending on the machine, I would always check with the manufacturer all the different settings there. Uh, with that, my parking brake is over here. I will take that off. Parking brake's now off. And then to drive these, again, it's really, really simple with this. All I have to do is, you see, if I just go a little bit forward with that, that's what's gonna take the speed that I have set there. So if I go that way, it's there. If I pull it back to neutral, it'll stop it. And then if I come over, reverse. I can back it up that way. Always looking in your mirrors and back to neutral. So I'm gonna go ahead. And then again, the steering on these, you know, for someone that's never been in a combine, just understanding that steering is actually behind you. I think that's something that it took me a little bit of getting used to initially is understanding that your front is fixed. Okay, now I, we did some harvesting already, so I'm kind of starting uh, halfway down here, but I just want to go over the basics here. You know, the biggest thing, now the new ones are having auto steering, so once you get set there, you can actually see a guide down there that'll actually keep you in the center of that row, which is setting it up initially on there. So once we're there, that's where we're gonna start everything. So I'm gonna start the thrasher, give it a second to fire up, and then I'm gonna start the head. Hear that kick in? and then I'm gonna start the head. Then over here on the right, obviously making sure my throttle is all the way up. Now that I've got everything running there, then I'm just easing forward and you're just trying to line up. Again, this row we've already been through once. So, you know, I've already got it pretty well lined up, but you were just coming up here. And then all you're really doing is going in here to lower this. So again, this is all automatic. So if I just hit that once, it's gonna drop to that height. And then I'm just slowly making my entry on here. Now, after I get going here, that's where I just hit auto. And I'll see down here my auto indicator. And then I'm just, after that, you'll see it's doing all of this on its own. Now, my speed I'm watching, I'm going, today we're doing about three miles an hour. If I go, so right now, if I try and steer, you see it won't let me steer at all. It's going to tell me it's in auto, it'll take me out of auto. So that's where I just engage it again. From there, I'm driving an auto, and I'm just controlling my speed. It'll tell me if I'm going too fast. Right now, I'm doing about 3.5, and I'm just looking down the roads to see if I see any rocks, uh, anything where I need to raise the head just a little bit. As I'm coming to the end here, and I go through, and then we're just going to raise it up. Now here, we're flipping around. We've only got a few rows left here. Depending on your setup, obviously you always want that auger arm to be on the outside so the grain bin can get up next to you. So we're gonna line up here. And again, as I spin back around, I can drop that. And then I'm just trying to line up. And then I'm hitting my autos again. So once you have that set, you get the speed dialed in. Uh, it's beauty of the newer combines, you know, they're. You'll see right now, I'm not really doing anything. This is you know, kind of an observation role to make sure you don't run into any issues. Eventually what I'll hear is a indicator that I'm 70% uh, full and that's where it'll turn on the light outside the machine. And that is Adam's driving the tractor with the bin would come up next to me so we can off, uh, unload the machine. The only thing you really, you do want to be prepared obviously if something were to happen where you can stop the machine if you were need to. So eventually you're gonna get a notice that you have fill. I'm gonna, before we get to the end here, just so we can show that, I'm gonna go ahead and extend the chute again. You always wanna have that extended first. And once he gets to my center, I will turn that auger on and just making sure that I'm right there in the center. I'm gonna unload it. A lot of times it's gonna give me an indicator. It's gonna work right there at a straw blockage. So I'm gonna unload here and at the end. 
Now, once I get it aimed in the center there, Adam there is controlling either farther or back, you know, where he wants to load it into that grain bin. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the auger and come into the end here. Once he's out of the way, I can pull that back in and then back up with it. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it to a stop here. I'm gonna give it a sec once I stop the head to keep running and then I'm gonna stop the thrasher as well. After that, once I'm there, again, we're gonna stop here we would keep turning back and forth. Again, the key is to always make sure your, uh, your extension is on the outside there where the grain bin can get to it. But after that, put it back in park, turn my throttle down. Here we go. And then out. Okay, everyone, that's how to operate a combine. Again, uh, very entry level, definitely not an expert. I'd like to hear from any farmers or any other uh, people that do this for a living, comment below on kind of tips and tricks for new operators in there. Special thanks to Adam and Ron Gergen for letting me come out onto their farm. Uh, appreciate all the support. You guys leave any comments below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.